Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 34, I believe, or 35 maybe, I'm not sure, of our vanilla City Skylines Let's Play. And today's episode we are going to be working on putting our small airfield into our little kind of spot of land that we have here by the river. Uh, we're choosing to put it here because it's got super easy access to the highway, uh, which is really important for putting an airport down, especially the big international one. Uh, but our large international airport is going to reside over here um, eventually. Um, we do need to kind of plan the road out a little bit for that to make sure that people do have access onto the highway and then into the downtown areas as well. And we also need to make sure that those guys have train access uh, into the city to make sure that the roads don't get too hammered. Uh, but before we dive into the build, uh, off camera over on stream, links in the description to the Mixer channel, uh, we decided to build a new part of town. So we're just over here. Oh yeah, ignore this by the way. Um, for some reason, the trains off the edge of the map um, aren't spawning or moving. You can see they're just backing up. I've no idea why that's happening. Um, if anybody knows, let me know, but ignore that for now. So uh, we did have a load of high density commercial uh, straight, opposite this, uh, straight opposite this train station. Uh, however, now it is just uh, a little bit of a plaza with a couple of paths around it and a garden. And then we also placed in the Mall of Moderation over here as well. And then we started to place some park assets in and around here just to flesh out this green space. Uh, and then we also have the Academic Library here as well, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, so it's just starting to expand this part of the city over here. So we've made a nice, a nice start to that. Uh, and we'll carry on working that in future episodes and on stream. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, again, links are down in the description. Uh, but today this place is on fire. Do you guys have nearby fire protection? Yes, you do. It's right around the corner. Okay. So, let's start this day. So, I'm basing this off of a real-life airport that is actually near me. Uh, so, in the Lake District, where I live, uh, we have very few uh, kind of infrastructure spots. So, I'm just going to uh, pull up the little Google map that I have here. Okay, so we have a really small airport. I'm going to try and build this here. So that should be good. And then we need to bring this out, like, say probably to there. We may have to rework this highway junction. It really depends how the traffic handles it. Uh, but we'll, we'll decide that at a later date. Okay, so let's just see how big this thing is. Okay, so it wants to be placed at a roadside. So we'll just put that in now. Just so we know uh, where we are building. Otherwise we're going to have a bad time of it, I think. Uh, let's just place it here for right now. Okay, so let's move it back a touch. So I'm not overly happy with the road there. It's telling me the slope is too steep. Do we have uh, bad terrain around here? Yeah, it's not. It's not the best. Uh, let's push this back up to the river. Try and make this as smooth as possible, uh, and then we'll go for softening the terrain over here. I really am looking forward to using the uh, the better landscaping tools mod when we start our modded series, uh, which isn't really isn't that far away now. Okay, there we go. So that fits in quite nicely. So now that we know where this thing is going to sit, uh, we can start to plan the road network appropriately. So I'm just going to keep glancing at the map that I have here. Uh, let's just hook this guy up to the grid first of all. Because uh, I'm going to try and base this off through the road network that roughly my local airport. It's more of an airfield uh, than an airport to be honest. Like it really, it has like three flights a day. It is really small. 
Okay, so let's bring this down here, and then we're going to make a little, a little roundabout here. I think use some high-speed roads. Is not right. It's not what I want to build. Uh, let's knock the terrain back uh, just a little more here. Actually, let's knock it right up to the river, and we can have a little bit of a a bit of a basin. There we go. Let's smooth that out as much as we can. Okay. So if you guys haven't seen it, uh, there is a highlights video from a Minecraft stream that we did over the weekend with uh, a frustrated Canadian. Uh, we had a really good time. Uh, if you're into Minecraft and some pretty chill streams, then you can go ahead and check that out. Okay, I think this is what we want to do here. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason I can't get this roundabout to sit. Maybe it's because it's those roads. Maybe if we um, actually just place in a small one here. There we go. That should do. Uh, and then I can just upgrade this into the high speed roads. We may have a little bit of infrastructure around here as well. Kind of some... Um, Maybe some shops or a couple of little storage warehouses maybe. We'll see how it pans out. Okay, so the way this works is it's kind of a one-way system. So we're going to bring this guy up and then connect up to the airport just like that. And then this way we actually need to make this a one way. Once you get to there, it switches into a one way road. And then we're going to bring it out by 10. Down like this. I should make that a little bit bigger. And then maybe we can have uh, a bit of a bridge here just to make this area look a little bit cooler. Uh, let's go down to the medium elevation step. And then can we get across? Yeah, we can. Okay. And now I would like to ideally let's um, let's place our marker out here, just so we know where we have to connect back up to. I think it'd be cool to have almost like a spiral bridge uh, come down here. So let me make sure that I can get a road under that easily. Yes, we can. Okay. In how short I want this little offcut to be. Let's try and replace that a little smoother. Just like this. There we go. Bring up to there and there. And then that guy can connect straight up through there. Okay, let's just hook this guy up to the power grid. Uh, so we can start getting some air traffic through. Uh, and then we'll see how this little 
kind of road network functions. So as they come in, they have one way into the airport. Well, actually, this is two ways because they can come either way. Uh, and then they head in, and then the only way out, they have to come back through this system. And then they can either filter back down through here and onto this way, or carry on down this way. Uh, we might end up actually deleting this road. Um, it really depends. Um, so we want some kind of public transport here for them. Because um, otherwise we're going to have a lot of people flying in. And then they're just going to have to get a car and drive out. And that really isn't ideal for what we want them to do. Um, the nearest train line uh, is probably too far away. Let's have a look. Possibility for a train line here. Um, yeah. Here is the nearest one. Or over by the amusement park here. There's a lot of people waiting here. 480 a week. That's, that station's doing really well. Okay, so I guess we just need to wait for some planes to come in. Let's have a look what kind of public transport we can provide for it here. Um, I think a metro is definitely... Uh, one of the options here, so let's draw in a little, uh, a little route for that here. Maybe a connection up there. Okay, and then the nearest metro line would be over here. So we can build this in fairly easily. And that does connect up perfectly, actually. So that's great. Uh, and then this red line is flowing back down here. So it's not really ideal. Can they interchange off a route here? They can stop here and grab a bus into the city. This place needs to be emptied. Okay, let's try that. We'll, we'll extend this route over here. Okay, so we do have some people coming in now. That's handy. Uh, let's also add in a couple of uh, taxi stands straight outside. And actually, we'll also have a little plaza out here as well. Kind of like that. Actually, no, let's, um, let's move that across a little. Uh, because I do want the taxi stand uh, to sit about there. We'll have a couple of taxi stands. And we'll go ahead and grab... Uh, some nice pathways. There we go. I'm guessing we can't get one down here. We might have to turn our snapping off. And it's just like it's a little bit. Can we get that through there? Oh, we can just about. Uh, either way, that works. Okay, let's do a little bit of decorating around here. A couple of little lock, a couple of little logs around. A couple of these different trees here. And then a bit of small bit of. Uh, a low vegetation. Okay, so there are people visiting uh, here right now, although we don't have any planes just at the moment. Oh, there we go. 
Wonderful. Let's get a nice little shot of that here. Oh, uh, yeah. That's great. Okay. It's working. At the moment, the exchange point here is working. Maybe we can add in another slip road here. Uh, for those that are wanting to come off the highway straight into the airport. Uh, let's find the node point there. Okay. There we go. And we'll switch that around. And then we'll grab that highway ramp. Need to change the direction. Okay, so we've got two little slip lanes there, so that's a faster way into the airport for anyone that wants to avoid this junction. Let's see, and maybe we can have. So I think the metro should be okay um, in terms of a public transport method for handling this amount of people. We'll have to see. Uh, and I think we're going to build a little bit of. Um, a little bit of a shopping complex here, I think. We'll make this look nice. We'll put some path straight through the middle. Right, let's turn our snapping off. Okay. And then maybe we can have some larger trees along these parts. Okay, we'll let that develop up and see what it looks like. Okay, so 19 passengers serviced. We definitely want some fencing along here. Um, We'll use the oil fencing because it kind of looks the most uh, industrial. Let's bring this right up along the edge of the road. And then we'll have it just up to the bridge. That works. And then we'll do the same on this side as well. If you think about it in real life, you can't just walk onto an, air, onto like an airfield. They are obviously highly secure. There we go. I'm going to bring that down here. And then up onto the highway. Okay, it's slowly coming together. Yeah, we need to do something with this path here. Let's bring this guy up. Can't get it perfectly aligned, but that will do. Okay, so here's the kind of the first batch of tourists, and he's going to climb frame one all the way over in Goose Home. But interesting to see that he is taking the metro line. Uh, I just want to double check and see here, just to make sure that, um, just see where they have access to. So this metro line follows, um, it stops here at the park, which has access to this blue bus line, which takes them around here. And then this metro carries on through the city and stops at the big uh, public transport interchange over here where they have access to bus. 
Um, the train station isn't too far away in terms of over here at the minute either. So that's nothing major to worry about. Um, and then after that it takes them... So they do have a stop there where they can change lines and then take the green um, into the downtown area. So it's not a huge worry. It does look like they'll be okay. So really the only worry now is that this traffic, this uh, junction here doesn't back up. And this little slip lane is getting usage as well. Okay. Oh yeah, this is getting lots of people coming through now. Yeah, 115 in a week so far, and that's only going to go up. How many people is this bringing in? 99. So you can imagine now if we had essentially 99 cars all spawning on this road network, it would get backed up pretty fast. But pretty much everyone apart from this little guy here has just gotten on the metro. So that is working. Yeah, okay. Very good. I'm happy with that. And we also need to plan in the fact that we have our cargo airport hub that unlocks at uh, 85,000. Um, now, I don't know where we're going to put this. Uh, for it to be in amongst our cargo stuff, we're going to have to do a lot of demolishing around here to fit that in because it's the building is huge. We, the, the cargo hub has also resolved itself as well now. It's good to see. Uh, I did want to do a little bit of work on our Fremont National Park, um, which has very nearly leveled up. Um, so I'm thinking that, oh yeah, we also had a recommendation as well uh, from, I think it was Bill and Ted. Uh, he suggested that we put in a train station into the National Park area, which we have done. Um, so come in here now. I just want to upgrade these roads um, into uh, this type, the asymmetrical three lane. So I want this to sit here, just like this. And I think we're just going to upgrade that to that side. This way right now, so where we have uh, the busier junctions, people have more options to turn. And it also gives people the ability to cross because they don't generate any crossing points on this highway road, which is the high speed that just gets them back to the interchange. Um, so just putting that in, it gives them a couple of crossing points here and there. And then we've also added in a little walkway straight opposite this train station. That just takes them through the trees and then onto the high street. And then we've also added in a high school up here as well. And we also have a little, uh, a little cute hillside cemetery over here as well, um, which has some horrible power lines linking up to it, but it needs power. So until that links up through the main grid, then we are stuck with that. Yeah, we've just got some little uh, residential uh, places popping up around here. We could do uh, popping a few more in as well. Um, we'll have another big batch popping along here too. Uh, so yeah, this train line, uh, it's getting usage like 119 a week is really good. It's bringing people to the national park. Uh, and then this guy just links over the highway and then he joins the main uh, train network uh, over here again. So again, all that was done on stream. These guys are suffering of garbage over here, aren't they? A lot. I'm doing a factory in a little garbage processing facility somewhere here. It's a job for a stream, I think. So yeah, major issues. If anyone has had this before, with the train lines just refusing to move when they leave the map, like there's nothing I can do about that, and um, because they're outside of the boundary, super weird. Like they're backed up all underneath this tunnel as well. Um, like it's not a huge issue. Like they do move eventually, but I hate that. That's like the worst thing ever. They, they just keep coming out of this tunnel. Like they just don't stop. There's so many backed up down there. Um. But it is moving, they're not despawning, but you know, 
Not right. So this part of town over here, which we covered at the start of the episode, um, I did want to factor in a monorail uh, network into this part of town. Um, but I don't think it's going to work, so we're probably just going to go ahead and delete it. Um, again, this was on stream. Uh, let's pop our snapping back on here. There we go. So yeah, we've probably got some more ideas here. We also placed the traffic park down as well. I would think, which looks pretty sweet. Um, and then by the time we filled all this place in with trees and whatnot, you know, you're gonna have a really nice kind of park mall area around here. It would have been nice to factor in the monorail, um, but it wasn't really viable. I did try to get it in through down here, um, but because we have the train line going over it, you can't get the monorail under this. I don't really want to have to delete and rebuild this section. So I'll have to figure out another method of public transport for this part of town. Uh, the train station is getting usage. Um, but yeah, it looks alright for the meantime, I think. So let's carry them around Nature Reserve. So we kind of have this little uh, introduction to the National Park when people arrive. And we've just got some small entertainments in here for the meantime just to help level the park up and if I keep this on three speed uh, we do have some policies and then we're really close to leveling this up so we'll start planning uh, the infrastructure for that um, let's go ahead and grab our national park paths now after it leaves this kind of main square I need to delete that foliage and um, we're going to turn off snapping and then we're going to have this totally free form so it doesn't look rigid at all now I am planning to have kind of a viewpoint um, up along here on the top here, top of this mountain. So I think that'd be a pretty sweet place for them. And I also want to start planning in some little campsites up this path as well. So this guy is just going to snake up. The side of the mountain. There we go. And then you'll have a bit of an easier time here. So I really want to build some kind of lush looking forests uh, in this part of the map. There we go. Uh, and then I think we'll just have, so I think it's level two, we unlock the viewpoint. Yeah, viewing deck one. So that looked really cool out over here. You'll have a full view of the entire city, apart from this bit behind the hill. We do have some cars using this. Now this is a commercial truck. I don't really want commercial vehicles using this little back road. But, you know, it doesn't really matter I suppose. Okay, so let's plant in some little campsites here. And maybe one up on this little hill, if it doesn't terraform away. Um, this guy's gonna have a little little campfire, and maybe uh, let's grab a path. And I just want to do the smallest little bit out there. Okay. Uh, and then a couple of different tents around here. And we're going to get some of our big redwood looking trees in here. I'm going to make a bit of a circle around here so we have an outline. And then we just want kind of thick lush forest all along this mountainside. Again I cannot wait until we unlock the I will not unlock, use the uh, tree brush tool. I'm going to place some of these larger rocks up along this cliff side as well with some higher. Uh, yeah, these guys are all still recognized, unfortunately. 
So just kind of really detailing these brown rock faces that the game generates can really just help bring um, your kind of finer details to life. I think now you're walking up along the path and you have like really thick lush forest around this campsite. Uh, let's actually go in for some like super minor detail in here. Uh, let's go in for a couple of bushes around the edge. You gotta think, you know, if you go camping in a forest, it's uh, it's overgrown, it's wild. You have bushes and twigs everywhere. Okay. Uh, let's go for a couple of small rocks. Uh, let's see if we've got any props that we can place up along here. So let's have a little bit of a little bench here and uh, a sign that just indicates maybe what campsite this is. Uh, a bit of a street light as well. And uh, maybe these guys can have a bit of a picnic area. Uh, and there can be a log store for the campfire. Um, we can maybe build an outhouse here where they can go and take a crap in the woods uh, and a well. So this is kind of what I want to do with the National Park is just build little tiny detailed campsites like this that are just nestled in and around it. Uh, and we have all this space to fill so that'll be fun. <laughs> Uh, we can go in a lot of kind of detail here. Uh, again, if you want the national park naming after you, or you have a, a name suggestion for it, then of course do uh, leave a comment in the um, in the comments, obviously, and we'll see what we can do to name it after you. Okay, let's have some more trees up here. Also, a uh, quick channel update, guys. I am on vacation uh, from this Thursday, the 5th of September. I'm going to try and get a couple of bank videos recorded so you guys have something to tie you over. But pretty much all of next week and the rest of this week, there will be no videos and no streams. Uh, I'm heading to Santorini uh, with my girlfriend for the week. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, getting away from work and getting away from town uh, for a, a few nights. Uh, so yeah, don't worry, I haven't died or I haven't given up YouTube, I'm just going on vacation and hopefully you guys can uh, do without the videos for a week, I'm sure you'll be able to survive. I'm having a bit of a death wave across the city here at the minute. Uh, we do need to do something with here as well. Um, speaking of death waves, let's expand our population. Again, we're just going to fill all this guy in with residential. This guy can continue to grow. Uh, and I'm thinking that we put in a bit of a, a city park here, kind of like a local park, um, as opposed to a massive one. We also need to do some work. This guy's finished emptying already. Wonderful. Uh, we need to do some work with our supply chains because we are missing a lot of stuff for our supply networks. Like we're missing plastics massively. Um, now I'm pretty sure that our oil uh, field is responsible for producing plastic. Um, yeah, so the petrochemical plant uh, makes plastics. So maybe we can get this in here. Um, maybe we can squeeze another one in here as well somewhere. There we go. And this guy wants oil. I mean, there's plenty of oil being produced here. So once he gets a delivery, um, that should see our other factories being supplied. Um, I think as well, I also want to put in a little uh, small warehouse over by the airport here too. Uh, I think these things look pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab an industrial road. So this is going to function almost like um, 
I want the, the regular road here. So almost like a tiny little bit of um, industrial flight air capacity. Let's see here, let's go back and grab our fencing uh, from the oil industry and turn our snapping off. So just a little something like that, uh, and then we'll pop him in with a couple of trees just to border the actual building itself. Um, it doesn't really matter what you store, uh, store petroleum. So you can imagine that's almost like a little kind of uh, jet fuel storage depot kind of thing. Just a nice little bit of detail next to it, and it won't add too much traffic, it's only the smallest kind of warehouse. So it should be okay. We are also on 76% traffic flow. 77 now. Why is that drop so low? Oh, that's flowing fine. I imagine this is the reason for it. This place is always busy. Yeah, not too bad. So I'm going to leave it there guys, uh, thank you very much for watching as always. Um, links are in the description to Mixer, we've been doing a lot of streaming recently and I really appreciate you guys to join me over on there. We're up to 4 followers at the minute which is great. Um, but you know we're doing a lot of kind of Destiny 2, uh, we're doing some Minecraft recently as well. If you guys are maybe keen on seeing a Minecraft survival series that would be something I quite like to do but only if you guys really want to see it. Um, and then obviously I've got a few more ideas uh, for City Skyline series as well, away from this Let's Play. So if you're interested in that, then definitely stick around. Uh, if you like the video, please feel free to leave a like, it really helps me out. If you don't like these kind of videos where we're kind of lurching from one project to another, then also please feel free to leave a dislike as well, because it really helps me gauge how you guys uh, enjoy the content on the channel. Uh, don't forget, I'm away. Um, Next week, I'm going to try and schedule some uploads for you guys, but no promises on that. Uh, the schedule's pretty tight at the minute. Uh, but if not, then I'll see you guys from the week beginning the 16th of September. And thanks for watching, as always. Enjoy the rest of your day.